Hi again, Mark Franke here. Today I'm going to show you the process for inputting your action plan into eLumen. Based on the results of your last semester assessments, you and your department faculty should have come up with an action plan. Your action plan can be anything which you and your department faculty have decided to do in order to improve instruction and or improve the assessment process. Some examples include a change in a classroom activity, a change in an assignment, development of a directed learning activity, a DLA, a change in the method of assessment to better measure the student learning outcome, a change in the method of assessment to provide more consistency among faculty, a change in the wording of the CSLO to provide a better basis for measurement, or something else you think will improve student learning. Don't overthink this. Just try something and then see what happens to results in the future. This is an ongoing process. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first you need to log into eLumen and then change your role at the top from faculty to department coordinator and your department. If you have multiple departments, then obviously you want to be in the department where the action plan exists. Click on strategic planning and then the tab that says action plans. This is as you build action plans, will uh, be where you can see each action plan. So the first step is to click on the box that says add action plan. And this template will come up where you can put in your action plan. So as far as a naming convention, I've been using uh, the, the course name. So in this case, it's accounting 102 then the semester, fall 2016, and then the SLO, would, in this case is going to be SLO4. But you can decide on whatever you want to use that will help you remember specifically what your, uh, your action plan relates to. Then just a brief description of the action plan. So I'm going to put in classroom activity for assisting students with understanding the four steps in the process costing procedure. Then the type should be assessment plan since this relates to the results from an assessment plan that we did in the accounting department in fall of 2016. And then I'm going to click add action. And the action is provide spreadsheet and instructor handout for process costing activity, something like that. Then I can link this to a CSLO or an institutional SLO or a program SLO. In this case, it's a course SLO. So I'm going to check, check that box. And then over here, click on link SLO. So you can see that all of the course SLOs and program SLOs and then institutional SLOs are listed here. So I'm going to change to Accounting 102 since this relates to Accounting 102. And I'm going to find the SLO which uh, relates to the process costing, which is this one right here. It's Chapter 16. So I'm going to click on that and then close. 
So now I have linked this activity, this action plan to that specific SLO from the fall semester. And I'm going to click on Save and Plan. When you go to plan, and you can get to this screen um, from strategic planning and action plan. And I'm going to change the term to fall of 16. And I'm going to click the, the radio button that says without plan. In other words, I'm going to put this template I've created for this action plan into the courses from the fall for Accounting 102, which currently do not have this action plan assigned to it. So I click Refresh, and now I see that there's 98 sections from the fall semester that don't have an action plan. This is for the whole accounting department, and I'm going to find Accounting 102. And here's the sections that were in the fall of 16. So I'm going to click Select All. You could just collect, you could just click on specific sections if you want. I'm just going to put this plan in all of them. And now I go up to the plan itself and drag it into this area down below. And I'm going to get a notification. This is a confirmation saying that I'm ready to attach this plan, this action plan to those sections. If you want to send a notification to all the faculty that were involved, you can, but I'm not using that and I, I use a regular email system for that stuff, but that is available. I'm going to uncheck the box. You can't go further unless you either type something in uh, to this area here or uh, uncheck that box. And then I'm going to click Confirm. This little green flag should come up saying that this was distributed su successfully. And now you've got a plan for, for that particular course. And you can put in a plan template and then, and then uh, drag it into any course or any s number of sections that are in Illumin from the fall semester. So the last thing I want to show you is how you can change the status of one of your action plans. So you'll see, again, under Strategic Planning and the tab Action Plans, I've got now these three, uh, including and a test that I did, uh, that, <clears throat> that I put in. So the one that I've just uh, finished was the Accounting 102 action plan. I'm going to click on the, the checkbox there and go to Summary. And here, because I have sent out all the information to the faculty uh, teaching Accounting 102, I'm going to just change this to Complete. And in the Status Summary, I'll say uh, Spreadsheet and instructor materials were sent to all accounting 102 faculty for implementation. And then when I update the action plan status, I'll get the green flag again saying it's successful. So now that shows as complete and I'm done with that. So hopefully this has uh, helped you to understand how to put your action plans into eLumen. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. Thanks for listening.